lunch was great. But I just got to try and stay cautious now for the ride home. <laughs> just finished run-up checks. It's very busy here. Lots of traffic going back and forth. But we were heading back to... Kelowna, uh, Kamloops. Why did I say Kelowna? Kamloops. All right, so flaps are set. One, two, zero, zero on the transponder. Let's roll. Airspeed's alive. TSP's in the green. 55, rotate. Public mic is on the downwind. 55. 1420, leaving a few minutes late. I was anticipating my leaving a few minutes earlier, so I'm a little bit behind my flight plan. Hopefully we'll make that time up in the air. 500 feet, so let's turn crosswind. Keep it climbing. Climb a bit more. Keep it coordinated. All right, we're at circuit height now, but I'm just going to keep on climbing. I'm going to climb to 3,500 feet at least. All right, traffic, public off mic is on final C5, full stop. Quite a few planes in the air right here, right now. <whistles> Anyways, so, um, yeah, let's talk about lunch. Let's talk about lunch real quick. Um, it was good. Chilliwack Airport is a super, super cool place if you're in the Chilliwack area. You don't need to fly in. You can drive to the Chilliwack Airport. The pie is great. The food's great. Everyone's friendly. You know, you can overhear pilot conversations. One day I would love to come back. Will I make it back by 4 p.m.? I mean, I should. Um, I should easily. I try to like over plan for these things so that I don't have to call FIC and be like, yeah, I'm going to be late. Oh, traffic, uh, hey, where am I now? Over Rosedale. Harrison traffic, Cessna Golf, Victor Oscar Tango over Rosedale, 3,500 feet east bend of the valley towards Hope. Harrison traffic, Golf, Victor Oscar Tango. That's where Rosedale is. Somebody made a call on my way in about Rosedale. A little bit too high up in the air. Actually, I'm clear now, I think. Yeah, I'm clear of the VTA. All right, I can climb. Let's start climbing. So, full power. So next frequency, one, two, six, decimal seven. Although, or am I going to call Hope next? Uh, yeah, I'll go one, two, six, seven, I think, to begin with. Really, oh, it's a way more hazy in the valley now. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can really tell. Way more hazy there now than it was before. All right, we're off the VTA, I think, pretty much. Uh, okay, so I want to climb seven, five, at least. Um... And very soon, we will start calling Hope. Call Harrison one last time. Harrison traffic, Cessna 172, Golf Victor, Oscar Tango, climbing through 5,200 feet over Agassiz, eastbound up the river to Hope. Harrison traffic, Cessna 172, Golf Victor, Oscar Tango. I see a plane down there. Of course, it's very hazy, so I have to rely on technology here. Can't really see out the front very well because I'm short. I can see where I'm going, though. Hope's just around the corner right there, right? Yeah, Hope's just around the corner right there. And I gotta turn up. No, I don't. I gotta go to the further valley. But I think I see which valley I'm going to. I think the first valley that goes to the north, I think that's Highway 1. But I want to take the second valley, which should be Highway 5. We'll see. Traffic 26. I tell you, that's definitely one way to, uh, to avoid traffic. Because most of the traffic, oh, there's actually, I can see that plane, that or that helicopter, actually, the helicopter that called. It's right down there. Um, that's one, definitely one way to avoid traffic is uh, just climb. Whew. Oh, traffic system 172 Golf Victor Oscar Tanko, about two miles west of the aerodrome at 7,500 feet. We are passing over to take Highway 5 up to Kamloops. Hope traffic system 172, Golf Victor Oscar Tango. All right, so now for the tricky part. Gotta figure out where I'm going. So yes, I'm definitely going this way. Oh, I see it, I see the freeway. Okay, we're good. Gonna see where the Coquihalla ends. I should take a picture of that, actually. The mighty Coquihalla River ends with a whisper right here at Hope. Because the Coquihalla is pretty 
too dry right now. Yeah, the Coca Cola throws the freezer right there. If you're if you're me, that's that's a cool fact. So I can just kind of make out a little bit of the freeway below me. I see where it turns. It does a little S curve up this valley right here. Yes. So what I want to do. I'm going to cut this corner. I'm going to call Hope Tell I'm leaving. I am five miles, say five miles east, uh, 700 feet. Uh, I think going north of Highway 5. Hope traffic, Cessna Golf Victor Oscar Tango, five miles east of the aerodrome, 7,500 feet. Uh, leaving the zone, heading the north up Highway 5 to Kamloops. Hope traffic, Cessna Golf Victor Oscar Tango. I can see the freeway. Uh, the freeway kind of goes. Snakes up over there, and then, oh, I actually see it over this end. So you know what, I think this is the corner I cut on the way down, isn't it? Yeah, it totally is. On the way down, I cut this corner to go right toward Hope, so I think I'm going to cut the corner again. I see the freeway up there. Now, it is mildly concerning. Now, I see the freeway climbing up into the mountains. And I'm seeing the mountains. And I'm seeing how, it looks like I'm actually at the mountains, not over them. So I might have to climb quite high. The highest mountains are like 7,000 feet above sea level. I'm at 70, or I will be shortly, at 7,500 feet. A bit of power to climb back up here. Um, so in theory, I should be fine. The good news is, once we kind of get past this little bit right here, like once I get up this next patch of road that I can see when the road turns, once the road turns, then turns back to the north, so just actually, I can see that mountain I'm going to be going around. Once I get around that mountain, I'm laughing. Like, things flatten out, and I can just kind of hang out on my altitude, everything should be fine. Less mountainous, and stuff. I've got Merit punched in right now, that's good, my next frequency. After that, it's either going to be Pacific Radio, to update my arrival time, or Camelot Radio, to say I'm coming to land. So I think we're good. The worst part of the trip is over. All the nervousness and stuff, all the scary bits, which were back there behind me, are now over. We do have to get through the smoke. That's going to be a bit of a problem. So I have to make sure that I stay, once again, well, basically, my plan is to stay west of the freeway, because, again, there is some restricted airspace along the freeway somewhere. Um, however, if it's looking super sketchy, in terms of smoke and visibility and stuff, I will call Pacific Radio and be like, hey, maybe I should go around. Basically, should I, should I go back over to the VFR route? Or can I get away with um, cutting the corner and maybe going up past Logan Lake or something? Uh, or should I go out to the east? That's going to be the big question. Do you see the freeway below me, I think? Yes, I do. Oh, actually. Oh, I think that's the Great Bear Snowshed. Yeah, it must be. Huh. I wonder where that was. I thought it was further down for some reason, but let's see if I can get a picture of that real quick. But yeah, there's uh, a tunnel along the freeway there that is always like a marker for me for uh, when I'm traveling. I know that I'm getting close to hope. Alright, so at this point, yeah, at this point I don't want my engine to die because uh, like leaving landing on the freeway would be a challenge. There's lots of trees and things around. There are some logging roads and stuff, I guess, but nothing that's super long. A couple more corners, and then we will be... We can breathe. Look at that. We're just going over our last mountains. Wow, it's gorgeous out here. If I can get a wallpaper-worthy picture here. Alright, we're expecting merit in 20 minutes. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 20, expecting an hour. Yeah, okay, so right now we should make it on time. This says Camelot's in 45 minutes, which puts us there towards quarter to four, so that's fine. As long as we're early. You don't need to worry about calling Pacific Radio if I'm going to be early, only if I'm going to be late. So, and it looks like we're, we're not going to be late, so... I won't worry so much about that. So basically we've got uh, Merit frequency is queued up. Next frequency after that is going to be Camelot's radio. If I don't call Pacific Radio. So we're gonna, when we get around Merit, we'll call on Merit's frequency. 
then we'll flip back to 1267, punch in 1257, which is Kamloops. I should have it memorized. I have it memorized. Excellent. Oh. Worst is over. <whistles> All right, so I'm heading straight for, so the road goes around this next hill up there, so I'm going to head straight for that point. But I think I saw the reflection of a car on the freeway up there, so I'm just going to go straight for that point. All right, so we're expecting 17, oh, it's increasing though. So about 18, 20 minutes or so to get to Yeah, I'm super glad this worked out, because I was a little worried, it was just like weather and stuff, right? Like, I was checking the weather forecast in, in Chilliwack, and kind of saying like, oh, there's a chance of, you know, a mix of sun and cloud. I'm like, what does that mean? Like, does that mean the clouds are going to be at 1,000 feet above the ground, and I'm not going to be able to get in there? Or does that mean the clouds are going to be at 20,000 feet? Turns out it was about 22,000 feet, but you get the idea. We are encountering some turbulence. Why, why am I encountering such turbulence right now? All right, all hands on deck. Where's the freeway? Let's get back. I could be... Oh, I see. I'm kind of next to the freeway, but I'm actually over the freeway. So uh, there is a mountain just behind me and below me, so if there is a tailwind, I'm probably getting wind off the mountain pushing me, kind of bouncing me around a bit. So I'll just turn back toward the freeway slightly. Okay, expecting a merit in 12 minutes. Merit must just be around that corner there. All right, I can see... I think I can see where merit is now, actually. I think I actually know where it is. Because the roar just goes up around that corner and then it's just up there, so it's bad. I think I can see where it is. The haze does not look like it's going to let up, but I mean, like I say, if it's if it only if it stays this bad, then I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, I'm a, about 10 miles south of Merritt. I'm actually going to turn toward Merritt now. Oh, I can see the fires. Okay, I can see the fires. Well, okay, we're good. We're good. Even if. All my GPSs and everything die. Oh my goodness, that was a huge, we just dropped in the sky there. Uh, we'll be fine. I can, I know exactly where I need to go. So those fires are right next to Camelot, so I just followed the fire. So I feel like the wind was blowing south, or from north to south, so I was getting, like, buffeted by the fires and stuff. But now, looking at the fires, I was, I was expecting winds out of the northwest. So the fires should be blowing to my right. And it looks like that's what's happening. So if I stay... On the same side of the freeway, I stay on the way down. I keep, in my case, left now. If I hit left, it should be fine. I can see the dog park in Merritt. Yeah, not long ago, it was super smoky in Kamloops, and it was not smoky in Merritt. I took Coco to the dog park in Merritt just to just get out of the smoke a little bit. Nice little dog park they have there. they got a separate section for uh, small dogs and everything. It's sweet. Oh, wow, I'm really starting to smell the smoke now. I'm going to throw a mask on. That's kind of bad. I might throw a mask on. Yeah, that was the whole thing. That was, uh, that was a little scary. Okay, we're good. Actually, you know what? Once I kind of get past, I mean, it's pretty smoky over there. Um, but I think once I get past all this whole smoky area, I don't need the mask on. Oh, I guess we're descending again. Hey, I see the freeway out in front of me now, it kind of curls around this way, so I'm going to make sure I go over here a bit farther. Point that way, we should be good. Back to 1267. It's about five miles north. Going towards Kamloops. 1267 traffic near Maris, that's the 172 Golf Victor Oscar Tango. 7,500 feet, about 5 miles northeast of Merritt, following Highway 5 back towards Kamloops. Merritt traffic, Cessna 172, Golf Victor, Oscar Tango. Yeah, looking at that fire, I can see there are like definitely places where I can see where the fire actually is. I mean, most of it's just like it's smoke in the air, right? But like, there are definitely places where I'm like looking at it and the, the smoke's right next to the ground, which means that's where the fire is. That was wild. All right, so expecting Camelos in 15 minutes, eh? I have a hard time believing that. I mean, I guess we're not that far away. Really, like... Mask off now.
see if I can do it without pulling my headset off. Oh goodness, bumpy, 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 slow it down. I just want to get more pictures of this fire, it's just so surreal. There's the freeway, there's the freeway, there's the freeway, okay, alright, I generally know where I am. Oh, in fact, I can see Mount Peter, or Mount Paul, or whichever mount that is. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, we're good. I'm actually not that far away from Camelot, actually. I'm going to have to call Camelot's radio here pretty soon. Take my mask off. Take the rest of my mask off. It's tickling my ear. Alright, yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to call Camelot's radio fairly soon. Yes, we are 20 miles away. Well, I'm just gonna make, basically, right now, I just need to make sure I stay well clear of the... Slow it down, slow it down. Freeway. Well clear of the freeway, is what I was trying to say. I can't tell... I'm seeing something over there in the smoke. I can't tell if it's a plane. Yeah, I think it's a plane. I think I, I, think I can see a firefighting plane right now. I definitely can. In fact, I think I can see two. I am right next to Kamloops. This fire is right next to me. Wild. Absolutely wild. Kamloops radio system 172 call Victor Oscar Tango. I have to descend pretty aggressively here. Victor Oscar Tango, Call Victor Oscar Tango is about uh, 14 miles. South of the aerodrome, coming up along Highway 5, coming in for a full stop. Hey, runway 09, wind 090 at 3, altimeter 3002, squawk 2435. Roger, coming in for 09 and squawking 2435, big trust, Hey, Roger, runway 09. And how do you plan on joining the circuit? Base. Uh, Victor Oscar Tango planning, I'll plan a right base for 09. Roger, right base, rolling 09. Go, I was expecting 2-7. Um, wow, the fire is just like it's right here. That is so wild. I mean, at least the fire crews don't have to go very far to fight it, but like, wow. Okay, we're descending nicely. Um, take it over this last little hill and then crank it over for runway 09, basically. I can actually see flames. There's no way my camera can be able to pick this up, but I can see flames. That is just wild. But there is the airport. I just need to scooch over this hill and then dive, dive down. I'm going to lose an engine right now. Where would I go? There's lots of fields and stuff. Oh, and there's a road down there. I'm going this way. There's a road there. There's some fields there. Yeah, we'll be all right. Camel stated, this is Cessna 152, Fox Truck Mike Bravo Yankee. This is the Fox Truck Mike Bravo Yankee, Camel Street. Mike Bravo Yankee currently at apron 2 will be taxiing to runway 2, uh, correction, 09 for local west. Hey, Roger, runway 09, west. wind uh, 140 at 2, altimeter 3002. Traffic 6 mile right base for runway 09, Cessna 172, estimating down in 4 minutes. Correct. Squawk 2410. Holy cow. Squawk 2410. Holy cow. Squawk 2410. Holy cow. Why was I reaching for that, Yoke? 2410, Mike Bobby Yankee. Correct. Airplane's taking off. Okay, a little slow. Nose down. Hold right, on, short. On, Bravo. Bit more power. There we go. Bravo Zulu, Roger, and uh, request you continue to hold short. Cessna coming up short, final landing runway 09. Uh, they'll be rolling it out to the end to echo. Bravo Zulu, Roger, we'll hold short. Hi, Bravo Zulu, Roger. I might take Alpha so they can take off sooner. Pulling the power, pull it to cruise. Big balloon, holy cow. Laps up. Hey, Victor Oscar Tango, can you exit Alpha and then uh, attack the Alpha Charlie? Great minds think alike, Victor Oscar Tango. Hey, Roger, thanks. Report prior to cross the first runway 27. 
And uh, Mike Bravo Zulu, you can check the uh, Cessna. They're exiting Alpha now. You can land the part of your discussion. Oh, I made it. I made it back. Terrible landing again. Massive balloon. Not sure if I just pulled too hard there or if they, I did get a gust of wind. It is a little bit windy on the ground, so it might have been a bit of both. And the landing was awful, just many bounces and whatever else. It just ended up with a, honestly, it normally would have been a goal round. I probably should have gone around, to be honest, with how big the balloon was. Um, but, um, you know, we're back, we're down. Everything's fine. Okay, uh, well, I see my front face of camera dead again. Um, you know, because why not? Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to shut the cameras off. And Oh, boy, do I need a nap. We'll talk more in a sec. Hi, it's Paul from the future. So it turns out uh, I didn't talk about anything later, and in fact I didn't record anything uh, after I turned the, shut the cameras off. I was uh, apparently too tired and completely forgot. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, the food was great, and the fires were scary, and hopefully one day I'll get to go again uh, with less fire. Yeah, so that's it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a month. Okay, bye. It bumped around a bit. I think I might just hit a bug, which is crazy because I wonder what's a bug doing at this at this kind of altitude. Most of the bugs kind of hang out near the ground where there's like food.